Well, sir, let's close up with the officer promotion system. I don't have any personal experience, obviously, but I've un I understand it can be pretty rigid. So this idea of doing away with the golden career path, what form is that going to take and what initiatives are in the works? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say we're trying to do away with the golden career path. Uh, uh, what I'm, I, I would couch it this way. I think we're trying to find more than one path to, to, uh, to milestone achievement and to success, whatever that is for people who are talented. Uh, so today it is defined as a golden career path because it's pretty rigid. You don't have opportunities to try something different or to maybe get off track for uh, whatever reason. It could be a family reason, it could be a child care reason, it could be an education reason, it could be a parental reason. Uh, we want to be able to give people off ramps that ha have a, a great deal of talent, are very skilled, that want to come back and serve or remain in, in competitive to serve and, and reach certain milestones that are important to them. Uh, so the authorities we're seeking some, many of which we already have, but we haven't implemented them in a long time. Others which will require perhaps a change in the way the law and statute reads are things that we're really uh, seeking to have, I, I, I call it putting it on the shelf. So someday if I, we come across a situation for a young man or young woman uh, comes across a situation where they cannot continue to serve, where they feel like they have to make an in or out decision, we have an authority available to us to to deal with that situation that we otherwise do not have today, or at least exercise the ones we do. So it's um, multiple paths to uh, success as defined by a, a good career in the Navy.